Aloha fellow campers and welcome to On Island Time. In today's episode, we're whisking you away to the charming town of Crossville, nestled in the beautiful state of Tennessee. Our destination, the incredible Spring Lake RV Resort. This hidden gem has captured the hearts of travelers who return year after year. So buckle up and join us as we uncover the wonders of this remarkable place. And it truly is remarkable. Now, during the previous Christmas season, we embarked on a journey to the Cumberland Mountain State Park, located just outside of Crossville, Tennessee. We were so captivated by the charm here that we resolved to revisit, but unfortunately, we were unable to secure a site within the state park itself. So instead, we chose to reside at a private RV park known as Spring Lake RV Resort. While Spring Lake may not offer an array of amenities typically expected at an RV resort, such as diverse activities, playgrounds, swimming facilities, and boating, it compensates for this with its tranquil beauty. And tranquil beauty it is. Now, Spring Lake is home to a quaint lake, brimming with a rich variety of wildlife, which includes ducks, geese, rabbits, chipmunks, and an array of birds, not to mention a host of lively and vocal frogs. And let's not forget those turtles. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Our chosen site was situated just 25 feet from the water's edge, allowing us to be lulled into a peaceful sleep each night by a soothing symphony of frog calls. Surprisingly, this unique serenade added the touch of tranquility to our stay, underlying that Spring Lake may lack certain amenities, but it certainly delivers in natural beauty and serenity. And that is so true. Now, we pitched our base here at, at uh, Spring Lake at Site 38, conveniently again located a mere 25 feet from the edge of the water. Now, our spot provides us with full hookups, complete with 50 amp service, and is marked by a level and graveled terrain. The park comprises a, a total of 48 sites, most of which offer full service, though a handful provide only electricity. A few sites accommodate pull-throughs, but the majority are designed for back ends. Our own site falls into this latter category, blessing us again with a magnificent view of the lake, which can be admired directly from our bedroom. 
and the fishing at this spot is simply exceptional. And we regret not bringing along our fishing equipment, but we did witness nev several fish being caught by children and adults alike. And the rule of this lake is that it's catch and release only. So that rule ensures the aquatic life continues to flourish. The diversity of the wildlife offers endless amusement uh, from watching geese guide their young to being startled by a pair of ducks when we arrived, zipping past our rig while we set up services. Though these geese, ducks, and birds tend to be friendly and unafraid of visitors, they always remain alert for any potential threats. That's very true. They don't come very close to you, but they come close enough where you can enjoy them. Now, our time at Spring Lake led us to cross paths with some exceptional individuals, and we hope to reconnect with them in the future. The beauty of camping lies in its endless opportunities to forge new friendships. We struck a unique connection with Paul and Jill, a couple who, like us, have a dachshund, uh, Abby. Um, no, it's no. Addie. A dachshund called Addie. This newfound friendship culminated in us gathering around a cozy fire next to the lake, engaging in deep conversations as we were serenaded by the melodic croaks of the local frogs. As and you can imagine, they were very vocal. <laughs> very much so. Now, turning our attention to the local area, if you're a fan of eating out a big foodie, we can uh, vouch for the Vegas Steakhouse. With reasonable prices, the food is absolutely delicious and it seems like you get a lot, so it's well worth a visit. The Country Cupboard is another good choice, especially for lunch. It features an Amish touch and offers an array of unique food items. And for the golf enthusiasts, if you have one or if you both are, Crossville boasts being the golf center or the golf course center of the United States or of the universe or whatever. Now, they do boast five golf courses and there's also a theater for anybody who's seeking some cultural entertainment. Now, just a short drive southward uh, brings you to Fall Creek Falls State Park. Known for its hiking and biking trails as well as its stunning landscape, crowded by two waterfalls. And they are gorgeous. So you also don't want to miss out on Bucky's. It's an extraordinary place where you can hunt for gifts, novelty items, and there is a huge variety of food and drinks. So be prepared to dedicate at least a good hour or more to explore everything Bucky's has to offer.
So now it's time uh, for the three things we like about Spring Lake and the three things we dislike. Do you want me to go first? Sure. Do okay. We, do we want to do likes or dislikes first? Oh, we always do dislikes first. That's right. We do dislikes first. We like to say what we don't like and then come back and say what we do. Yes. And so what I don't like about the resort is a lot of the sites along the lake are very close to each other. With the exception of where we're at, because we have like a little culvert next to us, it seems like the sites, if you walk out your door, you have your cement pad and maybe within three, four feet of your cement pad is your next door neighbor's dumping site plus the water yeah. and electricity. Yeah. <clears throat> so I do not like that, but I understand why it's done. Now for our site, one of my dislikes was the fire pit. And there's actually two things I kind of dislike about it. Uh, one is it's relatively small fire pit. And the second, which is even a bigger, to, is that the ground there is a considerable grade. It's not level at all. So to sit around there with chairs, you're going to have to be very careful when you bring your chair up to the fire that you don't sit the wrong direction and accidentally lean back. Um, so it's it's could be a potential tip hazard uh, for your chair. Yeah, especially if you're facing with your back to the downgrade. You'll be, you'll be rolling into the water. And the third dislike? Um, oh, the one thing that I think we both dislike is the pump for the fountain uh, here. Yes. Is <clears throat> loud. It's very distracting from the tranquil, tranquil beauty here because that pump is just loud. Yeah, and, and I understand why they run it. Um, they need to keep the uh, the growth of the algae down and, and things like that, and keep the uh, the water oxygenated because it is it is relatively small. So there's and there's not a lot of inflow into it other than when it rains, and it did rain while we were here. Yes, it did. It, it rained very hard, and, and the culvert that's just next to us was was spewing out quite a bit of, of water. But yeah. The pump. The nice thing about it is they do leave the pump off at night. They turn it off uh, just before sunset, and then they turn it back on well after 9 a.m. Um, we're not really sure exactly the time that they turn it off. Uh, Sherry was out walking this morning, and she thought that they turned it on like 10 o'clock or so. And the other morning, I was I was I noted with that it came on at 9 10 a.m. So it might be that it's on a switch up in the front instead of a timer. Uh, we don't know for sure, but it is extremely loud. And I really didn't notice it until the second night. Um, I was out, we were outside and when the pump turned off, it just got really, really quiet and was like, wow, okay, <laughs> this thing makes a lot of noise. And it seems like the wildlife, the frogs especially, realize when that pump turns off because when it's running and the fountain is really pretty and doing its thing it sounds like the frogs are like 10 times louder than normal but when they turn it off the frogs get a little bit more quiet it seems like they know that they don't have to be yeah. as loud when the fountain is turned off yeah so now it's time for the three things that we liked and I tell you what, this is going to be a hard one because there are so many. It's like, which one do we like the best? Well, I like the tranquil, the tranquil feel of the resort. We're early. I, well, I'm an early bird. I end up waking up, Mike. I'm up at five o'clock in the morning, and it's just so peaceful and calm here. It's very nice in the morning to sit outside and enjoy your cup of coffee. Depending on the time of year, it's probably a little chilly. This morning it was 52 degrees out, which is why I have a sweater on or a sweat jacket, whatever you want to call this. But it's it's just beautiful, tranquil here. The other thing, um, there's only 48 sites here, so there's not a lot of people. And most of the people are older because I, I think it's because the the park doesn't really offer a lot for children. We did see children here. Um, you know, the fishing was what I think drew a lot of people here. Um, but it's an older, it's an older crowd. Um, 
people with uh, kids and that, they may not like this place. There's, there's other places that are nearby that are more uh, kid-friendly. Kid friendly. Um, but that's why we like it, because there wasn't a lot of people here, and there's not a lot of camping camper noise. You know, there's not people up until midnight making all kinds of racket and playing music and all that. So it's very, very peaceful, and the people are very respectful to the other campers. Yes, and that's always so nice. And the third thing, oh goodness. I'm going to have to say that our site, our, our site is so close to the water. You know, I, I can definitely, I mean, I could toss a rock into the water if I wanted to. I wouldn't do that, but I could. So having the water so close by is, is there's just nothing else like that, being able to, to see the lake right behind you. And also with the culvert next to us, we've got a couple of trees and some grasses um, at the lake's edge. So we don't have a neighbor on our campsite that, we're looking at when we're enjoying sitting out on the patio in the morning. So aside from the downgrade where our fire pit is at, I think this is a great spot. Yeah, and I think it's a great park too. If, if, you're, if you don't really mind not having a lot to do, um, having to drive out into the city is uh, certainly an option. There's plenty to do out there. Um, but if I, you just wanna relax and yeah enjoy the serenity of the surrounding area this is the place to be yeah definitely we, we, we like we enjoy this place a lot mm -hmm. and we hope to come back sometime soon well i guess that's about it from us for the moment so if you enjoyed this video we'd appreciate a thumbs up and don't for forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our latest content and also have you had the experience of staying here at spring lake Please share your likes or dislikes about Spring Lake in the comments for others to benefit from them. Oh, yes. And always remember to ride, ride the, the wave, wave on, on island time. Aloha. Aloha. See you, everybody. Bye. Enjoy. Aloha, fellow campers. Welcome to On Island Time. In today's episode, in today's episode, we're whisking you away to the charming town. Oh, why isn't it speeding up? I'm sorry. Take two. Now Spring Lake is home to a quaint lake brimming with, now Spring Lake is home to a quaint lake, a quaint lake brimming with a rich variety of wildlife, which includes our clothes, our, our chosen site was situated just 25. This Uke's unique serenade. Motion detected at the garage. Retake. <laughs> if your dog decides to poopy, please bend down and scoopy. <laughs>